Okay, so it's Sunday morning and uh, this could be my last Sunday with these little fellas, all three of them together. They're now quite happy to be in the sunshine, which is different from before. That's Max little lady stretching herself. Um, there we have Vito in the center. And then Shaheen's little woman moving in. Um, they're really good friends and very healthy uh, eating. Uh, they're going on to dry food now, so they're ready. Uh, they're having their shots on Thursday morning. I know Shaheen is planning to pick up his little girl ASAP. Uh, they were here yesterday, and um, so uh, uh, I'm pretty sure Saskia is going to have Vito as well. Uh, so we'd, I'd be just left with one. Uh, Mummy is still feeding a little bit, but I'll, I think this week she's going to wean off completely. Sorry, my place is upside down still. A bit better than it was a week ago, but... Um, this kitchen job has <laughs> been a bit of a nightmare. I'm into the third week, completed, and the, going into the fourth week now. And I don't recall ever having an experience like this in the past. Uh, anyway, it's summertime and um, we're getting there. As you can see, uh, the little one has no problem getting out. She was already on the balcony this morning and managed to jump up and get back in without any problem uh, very agile all three of them are um, even our little man here Vito he's a character he's one of the most placid little dogs I've ever known um, he's quite incredible he's just so content and I think he's going to be I think he's going to be a very a very pleasant uh, dog to have and he's certainly um, got character and um, by the way I met um, a lady the other day I think it was Thursday morning who has quite a bit of experience with dogs and she tells me that around week 10 their bone structure really gets a bit of an injection and they start to develop uh, very much in that direction. Well, one of the consequences of this is that it affects their ears because there is some kind of structure within the ears despite them being floppy and um, you will see in about two weeks, three weeks time um, potentially the final outcome of the ears. Saying that all three of them have large and floppy ears right now they certainly resemble the dash hound uh, but um, the little one possibly if they lift may go back up but they're still shaped like dash hound ears rather than um, chihuahua okay so we're we're coming up on four minutes and i'm going to cut out here okay bye